Hey guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's 5 a.m. bright and early here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I don't know if I'm, I honestly don't know if I'm even going to download this video. Uh, this isn't going to be a regular video. I've, I'm, I'm going to talk about something that happened to me last night. Uh, it's 5 a.m. now. This was at 1.45 a.m. this morning. Uh, all right, let me just start. For, let me tell you, guys, give you guys some background first. Okay, I moved into this place uh, not even five weeks ago, I think it's been. No, not even. Yeah, about five weeks ago. I've been falling asleep in the living room, which I'm going to show you in a second. I Because I had the TVs in the living room. I'm, I'm getting ready to buy another TV for the bedroom. I want to get a new one for the bedroom. And I need... I'm just accustomed to falling asleep watching TV, so I've been falling asleep in the chair or in the couch usually, and then I'll, you know, later I'll kind of go to go to bed. All right, so last night I fell asleep in the chair in the bedroom, and I, I've told, I, my mom stopped by to put up some drapes a couple weeks ago, and I told her about this. I, I This has probably happened at least three or four times. I've heard, I've been woken up by a knocking and I tried to explain to him, my mother, it doesn't sound like it's coming from outside the apartment. It sounds like it's coming from right behind me. The door to the apartment is right, is about 15 feet behind my chair where I'm sitting. And it sounds, you know, it sounds like the, the knock is inside the apartment. It sounds so crisp. And I, I kept telling her this over the last, I've seen her a couple of times and I've told her this and she said, well, maybe somebody's, you know, messing around. Did you check? Did you check the people? See if anybody's out there? You know, of course, all this stuff. And I'm like, mom, I don't, you know, there's something weird about this. The knock sounds like it's, it's coming. It's inside the apartment. All right. So she's putting up drapes that day. This was last week when I told her about this again, I left, I went to Walmart. I came back, wasn't even gone an hour. And we're putting the drapes up and she tells me how she heard a knock and she went over to look out the people. Here's the thing. My mom is short and she couldn't see out the people. I know I shouldn't laugh about that. But anyway, she seemed kind of spooked by this. You know, just an hour earlier, she was like, there's no way she was believing what I was saying. All right, let's go to last night. I hear the knock again the see it's like maybe just two bam bam and it sounds like it's inside the apartment this time though within about maybe five seconds i heard i, I heard something else i heard something crash and i went outside and it was one of my paintings i have paintings outside my apartment in this building a lot of people put stuff out up outside their apartments to kind of decorate so i put some of my paintings up outside now this has happened before, so I put the painting back up and I sat down on my chair and I started doze off again and I hear a knock again. So I go to the door, no crash this time. So I get up, I'm like, screw this. I get up quick and I go to the door. I open up the door and I step out and I get, I jump because I see a guy standing in the middle of the hallway about 20 feet up from me. This guy probably about, uh, he's probably about 5'8" older probably in his 60s dark hair dark thick glasses a white shirt i think he had a t-shirt on underneath black pants he reminded me of somebody from the 60s that's what he looked like to me all right and so i i'm startled this is this at this point it's got to be about 2 2 2 30 and i look at him and I'm like, you know, this guy, this, this must be the, this, this is, this is what's, this is what's causing the knocking, so it's, you know, and it's, it, I automatically think, you know, this guy must have a problem with my painting. So I just, I, I turn from him and I look at, I just glance at the painting to see, kind of see if they're still all there. I just glance and I turn back and I, I'm not sure what I was going to say to him. I was going to Ask him if he liked my paintings, just to, to, to open a conversation, because I, I got the feeling that this was the guy knocking on my door, that this is, that he, that he must have knocked over one of my paintings just before. And like, in the, the split second, I turn, and look at the painting, and turn back, the guy is gone, gone, in a fraction of a second. 
I look, I turn back, I just like, I, I, didn't, I didn't, even, didn't even turn my body. I just, I just kind of glanced and I turned back, bam, gone. There's no way that this guy could have walked or moved anywhere. A fraction of a second and there's nothing there. It sounds freaking crazy, but this just happened. Let me show you guys. This is where I was sitting. I was kicked back here in my chair, watching TV over there. Well, I had fallen asleep, I was kicked back. The door is right there behind me, right? So, first time I hear the knock, that weird knock again. It sounds like, it sounds like it's coming from right over here, right? And then I hear the painting fall, I'll show you guys the painting. It's still early, so I gotta be kinda quiet. Okay. This is the painting that fell right here. And it crashed out here and down to here. So then I came back in, like I said, and I fell asleep. I started to fall asleep and I hear that knock again. I come out, I came out and I turn and look down the hallway and the guy is right there on the other side of that exit sign, just right there. So I see him, I turn back and I go like that and he's gone, gone. I was gonna wait to make this video so I could talk a little louder, but this is freaking me the F out, man. You know, I, I know if I tell this to anybody, they're gonna say, well, he must, you know, he must've lived next door. He must've gone back in his apartment. <laughs> this dude just evaporated, man. Uh, I'm starting to question my sanity. You know, was I dreaming? I, I know I wasn't dreaming. You know, um, I saw him clear as day. I saw his pants, his shirt, the t-shirt, the glasses. I saw him. And just in that fraction of a second, bam, gone. I don't know what to make of this. Nothing like this has ever happened to me in my life before. So obviously, I haven't made one of my usual videos today. Um, my heart's my heart is freaking pounding. Just just talk. Just going down the hall. That's the first time I went back out in that hallway. My heart is freaking pounding right now. <laughs> so that's the story. All right, uh, I'll be back with another video later. You guys have a good Sunday.